Hello everyone, it's Natalie, love it, live it, make it yours here on Flosstube, on Instagram and on Vero if anyone is trying that out. Um, it's the new ad free, algorithm free, chronological um, social media. I've been trying it as have a few people that I follow and I'm actually really, really enjoying it. So yeah, find me on um, Vero just my usual name love it live it make it yours um just coming on to do a quick um noisy motorbike uh just do a quick unboxing video i've not done one quite like this before but there was a couple of things i was excited about so i'm going to do a bit of an unboxing video and i'm going to do um just a couple of just to show you a little project that i'm that I've been working on that I'm excited about. There's actually two, but I thought if I bring both, this will turn into a floss tube. And um, I finished work, I'm, I might look tired, I feel tired, um, but I just I just wanted to do a an unboxing video and my husband encouraged me to go for it. Um, one of the things I'm excited about is, I did show it on my Instagram, but when I was away on holiday, I picked up this um, U-Star uh, studio kit, and it come with um, tripod, LED light, selfie stick that has a removable remote control, green screen clips, um, microphone, which I'm not gonna use today, loads of updating cables. It was meant to be 35 pounds, it was reduced to 40 pounds 97. I've kitted it up in my spare room so I'm not disturbing my um, husband while he's playing his um, Dragon Age Inquisition, which I love watching him play. Uh, but I, I wanted to come and do my unboxing video. And uh, yeah, I've set it all up in the, um, in the spare room and I'm really impressed with it already. I'm very impressed. So the tripod is the selfie stick. It's all compact and it's got a little um, selfie button on it, which I didn't realize until I read the instructions that you could remove it to be, remove it to be the remote, remote control. I'm so happy with that. I was on holiday in York and I found it in, my husband quite often buys me presents from Menkind, uh, sort of like a gadget geek gift shop. So I don't, I don't go in there because he, that's where he gets my, some of my presents from. Um, so yeah, so generally I don't go in there, but because we're on holiday, we popped into the one in um, York and that's why I found it. And I'm really impressed with it so far. And as I said in my last video, I do want to um, record more frequently, more often. And so I think this will help me. That and I love PowerDirector, the free app that lets you edit your videos. I trialed um, because I like doing some, um, for Instagram, some front on videos of me stitching and I have coughing in the background or my husband playing the PlayStation in the background and it's not very professional. And so I thought, oh, I'll trial the um, power director for free, the full um, enhanced, I can't remember what it is, but yeah, the full package basically. Um, I'll, I'll trial it for free and if I'm not happy with it I can cancel it um, but the trial ended while I was away on holiday and so I didn't think to cancel it and I paid for it but it's only £30 a year and so that is also going to spur me on to do more floss tubes because I've got to make it worthwhile now <laughs> anyway on with the unboxing I nearly held the package up but it's got my address on it that's how much I haven't um, even opened it yet I Lots of people have already had theirs and I've avoided all the spoilers on Insta. So you might have seen this um, already, but I've been so, so excited about it. So Sarah Elizabeth Stitches, who if you've watched my channel before, has started doing three monthly subscription boxes. And as soon as I, I love, I love her advent calendars and I love her products. So as soon as I, um, sorry, it's probably the noisy packaging. I probably should have, would have cut that off before doing the videos. So let me just like rip it off like a band-aid, get rid of the noise. Um, yeah, I've always, I've always loved her stuff. So as soon as she said she was doing the, sub the subscription box, I went for it she, and uh, I'm really excited. So I've got it, got it out now. It's called Box of Delights, August 2022. So I'm hoping there's definitely going to be some more of these. She always puts in a um, handwritten handwritten note. Um, I won't read that out. I'll have a read of that later. 
Um, but here we go. I'm really, I'm super excited for this. Um, one of the things that I have mentioned before that I love about Sarah Elizabeth's stuff is that it's very eco-friendly. Um, so nice box, paper tape, um, all the kinds of things that I love because I love being eco-friendly. Okay, so there's a little note in there um, as to what it contains. I'm really, really excited. Okay, thank you so much for purchasing the Box of Delights. For our first box, we're heading by the sea, which also sold it to me because I love nautical. I love, I live, I've always lived near the sea. I've always, always, no matter where I've lived, been able to walk to the beach, which is really lucky. But I lived in um, Kent, right on the coast, and now I live in Hampshire, right on the coast. So I'm so lucky. Um, inside, you will find summer um, themed pick and mix, vegan sweets from Sweet Love of Mine. She she does cater really well for dietary requests and requirements so i've got some vegan sweets which i'm excited about ice cream needle minder which is exclusive for six months beach themed thread mat i don't know what that is but i'm excited to find out mermaid scale vinyl covered notebook eco pen a skein of dmc 3840 a discount code i've loved putting um together this box for you and i hope you love it too the next box will be out in November 2022 at Stitchy Love Sarah. That's really exciting and I'm excited. I thought that her other box, August, September, October, November, I thought her other box might clash with Christmas so I didn't know if she would um, do one. So that's my discount code which I obviously will not share with you. <laughs> Here is my skein of 3840. Lovely, obviously, um, beachy summery, summery skein my vegan sweets i'm sure um my husband will be helping me to eat i don't know if she got the vegan sweets for everyone but i am nothing but grateful because i am vegan so i'm nothing but grateful thank you sarah so paper bag very eco ah oh, so this must be the beach themed thread mat oh it's really sweet and it's going to come in handy as well because i um have when i'm working especially at the moment actually with a project that i'm going to show you i sometimes have little straggly bits left over but because they're hand dyed thread i want to save them um so this will be perfect it's in a really cute cute beachy beachy fabric i love that i love i just love going to the beach um and living near the sea and it's got a nice um, felt so that will be really really handy i love that and in a little packaging is the that is so cute <laughs> the ice lolly um ice lolly needle minder that is really sweet that's really cute i love that that's really nice and we have got um the pen eco pen which is obviously a winner it's got a cute little bird on it as well that's so sweet. It's a cute little eco pen. So I've had my summer pick and mix, ice cream needle minder, beach sheen thread mat, eco pen, thread, and the discount code. So the last thing is the vinyl scale notebook. That's really sweet love the i love it it's holographic oh you can just about see my craft trolley in the reflection <laughs> i love that that's really nice that will really come in handy for um floss tube videos i love the dark blue as well so that is what i got i love that 
Although, I really wish I'd held off, because I've just put an order in with her, and I really wish I'd held off, because I've got, that, I've got that, that discount code. So I really wish I'd held off with that. <laughs> hmm, I think about what I'm going to send that on. It'll go on something, like, for sure. But I'm really happy with all those, those bits, and I can't wait to see what's going to be in the November box. Let me know if you ordered one. Let me know what you thought. I'm really happy with that and I can't wait to use all my things. Um, so, one, I just show you, want to sh share a project with you and just a couple of little things that I've made that are stitch related but not cross stitch. So, um, I'll quickly grab that now. So one of the things um, that I wanted to show you is that I asked my husband for my birthday for Emma Congdon's new book, Cross Stitch for the Heart. Now I know that so many people have shown this on their floss tubes, so I won't um, repeat that. Lots of lovely floss tubers have shown it, so yes, yeah, so I won't repeat that, but that is what I asked for for my birthday. But I asked my husband to kick me up a project from this book, and he he did. He kitted me up. Let's root for each other and watch each other grow. Um, he flicked through the book, and that's the pattern he picked. I've the only thing I will say about this book is I've heard a couple of flush tubers that say they don't love it as much as the other two. I love this more than Cross Stitch for the Soul. Not as much as Cross Stitch for the Earth. I love them all, but in terms of favourite, it goes Cross Stitch for the Earth, Cross Stitch for the Heart, and then Cross Stitch for the Soul. Um, and my husband brought me all of them. So I'm a lucky duck. But yeah, so I just said to him, pick a project from this book and kit it up for me. I didn't give him any instruction, any more instruction other than that. And he said it was one of the most stressful things ever. Uh, the only... Thing that i did say to him is i don't know why he didn't get hold of clue high heeled stitcher to sort him out or to help him not to sort him out but to help him because i have gone on to using anchor threads now the reason why is because i can get hold of them more easily there are always anchor threads in my local craft charity shop they are more eco-friendly than dmc i do prefer the quality so i do have quite a lot of dmc i have more dmc than i have a banker but that's because i've been collecting it longer um and i'm not going to be i'm not going to be particularly fussy if i can get it second hand um it's just the wraps on anchor are paper the wraps on dmc are plastic they are biodegradable but it takes longer um so that's just a personal preference um i just i i brought a few skeins of anchor black from the craft charity shop and they're like 25p a skein as is their dmc but that I'd heard that Anchor Black's coverage is lovely. And then that was it, there was no going back for me. The only thing is there's not as much Anchor variety as there is DMC. So I think if I've got the DMC, then I'll use it. If I need to buy new, I'll buy Anchor or I'll go to the craft charity shop and maybe use a mixture. I have done that on um, a couple of projects. So the next video that I'm hoping to do is an, is um, an FFO video because I didn't record for so long I had so many whips to show you so I did a whip parade and then I think my next video will be a video of FOs or FFOs because I have a really special um, FFO to show you um, so yeah I think that'll be I think that'll be my next video but anyway um, yes yeah, so my lovely husband kitted this up himself um, and he, bless him, he did not realise, but actually in the back of the book, there is a DMC to anchor conversion conversion chart. And he he didn't realise, bless him. Um, and so, yeah, he just kitted it, kitted it up himself. But he, he knows I also like using hand-dyed flosses. The strange thing is, I love a hand-dyed floss or a variegated floss, actually. But I wouldn't have thought to use it the way he has chosen to use it in this pattern. And so it's really opened my eyes up to how else I can use my hand-dyed flosses 
and I think I'll start buying more. I have got a really nice collection of Jodie Reed threads, but I think I'll start buying more now because of my because of my husband. So let's root for each other and watch each other grow. Here is my progress. I'll just put the book behind it because you can see my stash. This is my, I'm sat in front of my um, cross stitch stash and this is just, uh, these books are just the start of a mountain, mountain of books. Anyone who knows me knows I love books. Um, so yeah, this is how far I've got. It stitches up very fast. Um, so my husband picked the fabric, which is Svargar Linen. I'll tell you which one in a minute because I kept the package in. Um, because he knows I've recently fallen in love with linen and even weave. And he, yeah, he converted it, which I'll be able to show you in a second, to, to um, anchor. And Jodie really hand dyed threads. The lovely thing was, I just said to him, kit, kit it up for me, like fabric and threads. What was lovely was, um, this is a grime guard that I've had for a while. It doesn't, I usually match my grime guards to my projects, but I, I haven't done it this time. And I, I love the summery fruit, but I might buy a, a nice floral one to go with it. Um, but he brought me this lovely um, leaf leaf needle minder as well. It's so sweet and he thought it would really go um, with the project and it does. It's really, really sweet. Um, and I worked on this quite late last night. That's why it's there's a tiny bit of stitching and it's ready to go. And he um, wrote a key for me. And so I've kept hold of that and I might make that into a bookmark in the end because as I say he said it was one of the most stressful things he's ever done um but he did a fantastic job picking colours and just to prove um what I was saying about using Sarah Elizabeth's floss mat under my crime guard are little bits of hand dyed thread I don't know if you can see that very well but that I've tucked away they're like I don't want to get rid of this tiny bit um, hold it in front of my face why not Natalie um, because that might cover a few a few crosses um, but at the same time it's quite a small bit it's too small to go back on the bobbin so I've just tucked it in there but that can go on my new floss mat now so yeah that's one of the just one of the things I wanted to share with you I was really lucky to get that my husband did a smashing job a really a really good job um and when I was on holiday in York, I went into um, Accessorize and they had a bag um, reduced to five pounds, I think it says. Yeah, I think it says five pounds. It's meant to be 16 pounds. Anyway, it was reduced and it's a small floral drawstring bag. Um, and that fits my frame in it. It does up to about here. So I can't do it up all the way, but yeah, it does up to about here. And it really matches the colours of my um, project. And that was just an accessorise. So ladies, if you're looking for like a little bag, pop into accessorise. They had ones with dragonflies on and roses as well. Um, yeah, and you can pick up a little project bag for a couple of pounds. It's got nice embroidery on it. Embroidery on it. And I just like the colours. Um, so my husband ordered my floss from Wool Warehouse. You may or may not have got the fabric from them as well. That's where he ordered my floss from. The fabric is... It doesn't actually say. It just says it's Belfast 32 count linen. But it is the natural colour. Just the... It's, it's um strange actually because I did my tiny modernist uh cheryl mckinnon cross stitcher calendar on that fabric that i was given from um the lovely dawn um hi if you're watching dawn she sent me this piece of fabric and i said to her where'd you get it from i love it and she just picked it up um in a, a pre-love shop and thought i'd love it which i did 
but we didn't know what fabric it was. Someone suggested to me it was Spygar and I thought, oh, when I need some more, I'll look. My husband didn't know how much to get me, so he brought me this massive piece. I've got half of it, over half of it left over for another project. He brought me 19 inches by 27 inches um, and I didn't need anywhere near that much. But I'm not ungrateful. And these are all my lovely colours on my um, floss ring that I made myself to match the project. So I ordered some um, beads and they've got a little cherry. This is a um, clear glass disc with a cherry blossom petal in it. You can't see that very well because it's so small, but I took a picture and I've shared it on um, on Insta and uh, some lovely, I ordered these as well, some lovely, oh no, these ones, the pink and the green, they came from Dawn. They came from Dawn, um, but these flower ones, I brought them and it made my, made a lovely floss ring. And so they're all my um, anchor conversions. Didn't he do a smashing job? And you can see what I mean when I say it really matches my um, project bag, all those like blues, blues and purples and pinks really matches my project bag. So the hand dyed flosses that he chose were Jody Ree St. Clements and I've kitted that one up, I've bobbins that one. He chose um, Purple Planets, which is a really lovely thread and I'm really pleased with that he chose that one because purple's his favourite colour and he chose um, Perfect Purples which is also lovely and they go together so well so both of these um, have been used in the lettering and they just blend so well which is that's what I mean by he's opened my kind of opened my eyes to what else I can do with hand dyed floss and then he also brought Dove of Peace, um, but it's quite pale. And he said that he, I mean, up here is almost white. So it goes from like a pale blue to almost white. Um, it's actually showing up brighter on the camera than it is in, in the flesh. Um, but even he said he doesn't feel that that's the right colour. So I have ordered some um, in like a different shade of blue. And I'm waiting for them to come to decide if they're going to be what goes in that project um, and I'll check my stash as well but I just treated myself to some other hand dye well I brought a couple actually just to see which one we thought would would swap out for that one but I said to my husband it will go in a project and so yeah that's my floss rings one of the other things I wanted to show you was I've been making my own floss rings and scissor fobs um, and so I just yeah to match my projects which is so silly because once they're complete I mean let's face it we all know I'm not a fast stitcher so I'll probably be using them for the next 30 years um but I like I do like them to match and so I'll take my hair bobble off my wrist because that will just help things show up a bit better I was looking for something I could hold it up against but I haven't got anything to hand which is mad because you'd think I'd have something to hand in this chock-a-block craft room but yeah there's another blossom disc the beads from dawn and um some other flower beads so yeah these are the other things i wanted to show you was that i've been making my own making my own scissor keeps i'm just going to put this away while i show you the last two and then that will be it for this for this flush you or this impromptu sort of um, unboxing slash floss tube but I just thought while I was filming I'd show you a couple of things and then I would do um, my upcoming video which will be um, FFOs on FOs my mind went blank then I haven't had my dinner yet and so my brain is uh, I've not been feeling very well I've not had dinner yet I'm tired I did not sleep well at all last night. Just get the tiny violin out, everyone. Me, me, me. <laughs> a colleague and I do that to each other at work. If we start grumbling to each other, we're like, hang on a minute, I'm just going to go get that tiny violin. Keep it in my pocket. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just feeling a bit, a bit groggy, but 
yeah, I just fancied recording and I was excited about my new setup and my husband was like, go for it. So I did. That's what I did. I went for it. And yeah, one of the other scissor, the two scissor keeps that I made yesterday that I really wanted to share with everybody. Uh, I made one to go with beach day recipe. <sighs> my brain. So this is the one that I made to go with beach day recipe. They are our better pictures on my Insta. So there's a little wave charm. And some like sea glass beads. I have put um, on my Insta where I bought the beads from if you'd like to go and check them out, including this lovely big lobster clip. I'm really happy with them, really, really happy with them actually. I might start making some more. And they're actually quite cheap to make. So I'm really happy with that one. And this has its own floss ring as well, actually, that I made some time ago. So now it has its own floss ring. And there are the beads that I put on it, a shell, some like pearly beads and a wheel, a water wheel. So yeah, that has its own um, scissor keep and floss ring and a project bag from Gem Stitchery. I love her project bags. Love, love, love them. And this is the last one. So I, I made this, wasn't very happy with it, remade it. I'm much happier with it now. And this is for the lovely Charlotte from um, Flush Tube and Instagram and Vero, but her name's different on Vero. Um, so I will find out what it is and let you know. It might just be High Heel Stitcher on Vero actually, but she's Clue the High Heel Stitcher. And I found this really beautiful High Heel bead in our local craft charity shop. And obviously anyone who watches her channel, it reminded me of her. It's a really cute, just gold High Heel bead. And originally I put really tiny seed beads on it and it, it just didn't sit right with me. And I asked her and she said, I love it because you've made it, which is what, um, you know, people say that when their toddlers bring home really hideous drawings. Like, oh, I love it. It's going on the fridge. And then you just greatly get rid. And um, I wasn't happy with it. And so I said to her, you know, I'm not going to be offended kind of thing if you say it's not for you. And she said, well, I do love it. But if you're going to be happy to change it, then change it. And, and I'd brought some beads from the craft charity shop and had some in my stash that I thought actually matched the shoe better. They're slightly um, orange, red, gold. And it really, I was really thinking of, about her when I, when I made it. And I'm really happy with that now. So I can't, I'm looking forward to giving it to her. The only thing I wish I'd done is rotate, rotated that bead so that they mirror. But it doesn't matter. That's actually a really small thing. Um, so yeah. I'm really, really happy with that. So that, that's it for my impromptu um, floss tube. I hope you like my unboxing video. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you like seeing my scissor fobs as well and um, my special projects from my, from my husband. I hope you're all keeping well, doing lots of stitching. I'm hoping to be doing more stitching soon when my circumstances change um, with a job job change that will be really exciting and yeah hopefully i'll see you really really soon take care everyone bye